hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. I hope you're having a most wonderful day. I certainly am. I'm out here at the Community Forest, otherwise known as Lepke Park, and I'm here for the first part of today's Explore project. So we are going to forage or gather some natural materials that we can then use as paintbrushes. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to come visit us at the Dawson Creek Art Gallery to pick up your free art package. It's got all the instructions and supplies you'll need to complete this week's activities. You can also look at our new renovations, check out our membership exhibit, and of course, come say hi to me because I miss your smiling faces and I would really love to see you. And if you're not by the gallery, you can also find these at the Nowakin Friendship Center and the Northern Toy Box. So let's get started. Our art mission today is to gather things we think would be exciting to paint with. I like to look for things with unusual textures or shapes so that I've got lots of options to experiment with later. So maybe you'll find some items that remind you of a conventional paintbrush, like some dried grass. And then you can also choose some more unexpected materials like a pebble or some twigs or a piece of bark or some mushrooms. <sighs> These ravens were really excited about the tiny pine cones that I picked up. You can gather whatever your heart desires as long as you are respectfully taking it from nature. So for example, this tree branch looks like it would make a great paintbrush, but the tree is still using that one, so I'm going to pick this one off the ground instead. Along with our materials, we're also out here to gather inspiration. So notice what excites you, or calms you, or intrigues you. You can take a few moments just to appreciate where you are and what you feel. Fresh air is good food for the creative soul. Once you're back inside, you'll want to set up your painting space. So you can lay something down to protect your table, put on messy clothes or a smock to protect you. I washed off my pebbles so that they weren't dirty because I picked them out of the mud. And then you'll want to mix up your paint. So if you're using an art package from the gallery, you've got some powdered temper paint in there. It's non-toxic and totally washable, so just add some water, mix it up, and you should be good to go. Finally, painting time. And there's no way to use your tools wrong. Go for it however you like. You can stamp them, you can roll them, you can streak them and glide them and brush them, you can impress them. I don't mean be impressive towards them, I mean impress them upon your paper, but you could be impressive towards them if you wanted to. You can sketch with them, you could even splatter them, but you might wanna ask your adult before you start flinging paint all over the place. So what do you like to create? Is it abstract patterns or a scene? It can be whatever your heart desires, just go crazy and have fun. your paintbrushes. I hope you had fun. We'd love to see what you created. If you'll share a picture with us down in the comments or send us a message, maybe you have a fun story from your nature adventure or it gave you inspiration for something more. Whatever it is, we would love to hear from you. So please do reach out. 
Huge thank you to Vancouver Foundation, City of Dawson Creek, United Way Northern BC, and BC Gaming for helping make Summer School of the Hearts possible. And of course, a huge thank you to you, Kindred Artists, for tuning in today. We love you, we miss you, and we can't wait to create with you again soon. Bye.